Sup and guys, Squid of Tech Review. Um, today we are doing a review on a controller, PS3 controller from BGR Mods, directly from the company that does the mod itself. The mod we are looking at is the Intensifier. So, um, let's get right into it. I'm just going to look for... Let's just cut this open. Sorry if you think I'm not professionally using the keys, just that I cannot find my knife in there. Alright, so let's open that. And this side here. Alright. Hopefully this opens now. There we go. Okay, so what I've actually what they provided is two items, the controller and this um, this is their no scope um, mod works with PS3, Xbox, Wii and PC as you can see and you basically apply it onto your screen and it gives you a crosser no matter if you're scoping or if you're not so you can basically no scope so um, let's look at it decal applies directly to your TV screen, works for all first person shooter games no scope, um, cross says glow in the dark, so this will glow in the dark if you're in the dark you can actually see it, so it makes life easier if you're playing in the dark get more headshots, never miss again so it's easier to shoot if you're doing from the hip fire on the back, no scope will not ruin TVs, LCD or plasma monitors or walls do not place the decal of the mouth so you don't want to basically get this dirty, the actual sticky side, you want to get dirty otherwise it won't be sticking anymore, you'll have to throw it away and use another one and they actually give you five in here so there's five use it, reusable decal you can basically use it as many times as you want as long as it does not get dirty if it gets dirty you lose, um, the residue stops working and you won't be able to use it so it's got the instructions, step one, toggle on the game's scope zoom function so you want to get into the scope with the crosshairs that show in the sniper and apply it, align it with the scope like they've shown here so as you can see they've aligned it like that so I'm going to show you that, me actually using that and using the controller in a bit I'm just going to open this first so here we have the controller itself let's see this paperwork okay so what they've included is the PS3 Intensifier 2.0 um, instruction kit telling you what to do. So yeah, um, so yeah. Here we have the nice, beautiful controller. They've actually done this custom for me. Um, I asked to do the custom controller. They are actually on the website. They've got the feature for you to use um, to actually modify the controller for the buttons itself. But at the time when I asked to review it, they weren't doing it, but they did it just for me. So I actually appreciate that a lot. So I was able to customize it anyway I want, mostly anyway, and I'll tell you what I've actually done to it. So here we have the controller, now this does look beautiful. As you can see it's brown and blue. The actual controller I've got myself, that I might um, add from Intensify store previously, was a white controller they gave out, and I actually did the blue mods myself, so you can see it's blue light. It looks like it's white with a blue middle button light, the blue buttons and triggers. That's something I did myself. What BGR mods have provided me is the basically the opposite, which looks pretty neat to be honest. So you can see it's completely opposite, but it looks really nice. So we've got that. Now this is a basically standard controller with. Um, the intensifier mod. So you can see they fitted everything nicely. Everything is nice, nothing's broken. It all feels like a nice controller. They've done it professionally. As you can see it's all professional. And it's got the intensifier mod. So I'm gonna play a few games of Call of Duty showing you how to basically um how it works. So yeah I'll be right back. I'm just gonna set everything up and we shall continue with this review.
What's up now guys, it's Squid Let's Hit Review um, back here. We're going to basically show you um, our modded controller. Okay, so our controller we've got it in the stock mode. So we're going to put it into rapid fire, which is mode 1. So we're just going to hold R1, press left once, and we are in rapid fire mode. So let's um, let me show you how the I think it's Type 95 works with Rapid Fire. Days to guess. I've also got the um, no scope decal fitted on, so I can shoot from the hip. Oh. Um, this actually does make the Type 95 shoot faster. Rather than just three bullets, it actually shoots as many as it can. This isn't the fastest it can shoot, you can change the mode. This, the stock mode is 9, the speed, and the highest is 1, and the lowest is 50, so it's not on the high speed. If you want to increase it, you can. Somehow you got me. But yeah, that's the um, demonstration review of the BGR mod rapid fire controller with the muddy mod called Intensifier, it's version 2, on our beautiful blue and white controller. So yeah, thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed it. Um, you can get it at bgrmods.com for about $100, I think. Um, don't hold me to that. Um, if you want to install it on your current controller, you can, you can get DIY kit which is basically the mod itself and it's probably the easiest mod I've ever seen, you just open your controller stick the mod down and you are good to go so yeah thanks for watching, rate, comment, subscribe and see